the one thing that's comforting about it is that I did race Xfinity there. I've ran, you know, ARCA races there. So I feel like I have some experience to know how I want to get around the racetrack. It's just adapting that to the cup car and what it's going to feel like. I mean, I think when you think of Watkins Glen, it's fast, it's heavy braking, and there's a lot of flow to the course. For me, I've, I've always thought it's one of the places you can feel how, you know, one corner connects to the next one. They all lead into each other. Um, but we start here with turn one. I mean, always crazy on restarts, three and four wide, the 22 stuffed it in there, you know. Like you're always under attack pretty much, always going forward or you're going backwards. So um, you try and get as much speed as you can off turn one because you can actually carry all that speed from turn one all the way to the bus stop through the S's. So turn one's an extremely important corner. Uh, and then we're going in here to the bus stop. But especially in traffic, when you look at this, like, you can't even see where you're going half the time or where the curbs are because you know it's a pretty narrow track. I mean, you're pretty much just kind of judging off the guy in front of you in traffic of where to go when you're going through the bus stop. But it's extremely technical corner, one of the hardest we go to, um, where it really depends on how you position the car. You know, if you get on the curb a little bit too much or not enough, and how you work the brake and how you work the pedals. So there's a lot you can do as a driver through the bus stop. And then turn seven here, I don't know why it makes no sense to me, but it's probably the toughest corner on the racetrack, at least I've always thought. I mean, one that you feel like you never get right, honestly. Like, it's always just really hard to get the car to flow through the corner. Um, it's just fast. I mean, it's the mile and a half, you would say, road courses, I would say. Um, you know, aero matters. There's, there's stuff that you do different in the setup here compared to any other road course. Um, so it's just fast. I mean, you have to kind of worry about the aero aspects of it a little bit more, probably. Um, but I think it's a place that still has a lot of fun. I mean, it's still always one of my favorite road courses. See, now he's going in the S's here, and the S's are probably one of the sketchiest and hardest corners that we go to. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> extremely fast. You're in the throttle hard. There's not much room for air. There's guardrails on both sides. We've seen a lot of big wrecks there. So it's just a, it's a sketchy corner that I think you don't get anywhere else. There's so much that jumps around in the car through those S's back and forth that um, it's definitely one of those corners you have to try and ease into to just <laughs> try and make sure that you're not going to wad the car up on the first lap. 